We are on Chavzayin Amaral of yesterday. We're going to chazer a little bit outside. Yesterday, we spoke about, number one, the Zikne Beis Av, the bottom of Chavav and Beis. And uh, just, uh, again, I don't know where the Eilam's holding in Chazar during the day, but if you take a few moments, really, just to speak out what's going on, look at the English notes, speak out the ideas, you'll realize that it slowly starts settling. So we spoke of the Zikne Beis Av are sleeping on the stone rows. The Gemara asked, why don't they bring beds? The Gemara answered, it's inappropriate. We continued on the bottom of Chavav and Beis, in which we dealt with the difference in the Mishnah between Pirchei Kuna and Roivim. They're both young Kayhanim. Why two words? And the Gemara explained that there's an age gap that the watchmen were younger than those going to sleep because those going to sleep were going to sleep to do the Avaita the next day and therefore they were older whereas those guarding were younger. We continued from there into the three places that the Kayhanim are Shaymer the 21 places that the Leviyam are Shaymer. We brought sources for each. And firstly, we dealt with why the Pasuk seems to list 24, two Terutzim, either 21 plus 3, or you have to recount that when it says Shnayim Shnayim, it means just one. When it says La Sufim Shnayim, it means one. The other guy was there just to help him. Again, in the second tarot, it says it's 21 plus 3, Kanem and Leviyam. We continue by discussing where were these Shaimrim. And we saw an interesting detail that in the Harabayis, they were on the inside. In the Azara, they were on the outside. Again, this is the Azara. So in this whole area, they were standing on the outside. The larger Harabayis, they were standing on the inside. And the Gemara explained why. Because Ein Yeshiva Ba'azara Ella Lamalchus Beis David Bolvad, only the kings of Beis David are allowed to sit inside the Azara. That's who we're holding, Amar Mar. Amar Mar, about 20 lines from the bottom. The first one line is Bilvat. Amar Mar, hey, al hey, Shari Azara. Five and the five gates of the Azara. Asks the Gemara, really? Were there five gates? The hey, Shari, Mutahave. Were there only five Azara? The Remini, I'll ask you a contradiction. Says in the Bryce, says Zayin Sharim Ayur Bezara, Gimel Bat Safa and Gimel Bat Daraim, Vechad Bat Mizrach, three north, three south, three eastward. Amar Abaya, Tre Minai Uloi Tzri Cheshimer. First, Tarz is Abaya. Yeah, there were seven gates. Two of the seven don't need Shmira. Why? Because they were close by. Tarz number two, Rava Amar Tanoi. You're right. It's a Machlegis Tanoi. Our Mishnah says five. There's a Bryce that says seven. And guess what? We're about to even have a sheet that says eight. Explains the Gemara de Tanya, Ein Paycha said you cannot have less than Yud Gimel Gizbarim, which are Kenegar the Yud Gimel Sharim, the 13 gates in the base of Migdash. Dal Chamisha de Harabayis. Pashilahu Timanya. I skipped, I'm sorry. You are correct. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amr Amar Nachamal. Hey, uh, Rav Amr, thank you. Tanahi, Erev Tov, Rav David. Rav Amr, Tanahi, Detanya. Ein poichas in Yud Gimel Gizbayrit, me umezayin amarklin, the seven, you know, uh, officers. Rav Nasen Amr, Ein poichas in Yud Gimel Gizbayrit, which are kineged, Yud Gimel Sharim, 13 gates. What are the 13? Dal chamisha da harabayis. Subtract five of the harabayis. Pashilu. Tamanya eight Azara Almas. What do we see? Igatana Dhammer Tamanya. Eight like we just quoted. Vigatana Dhammer Shiva, like the question. Vigatana Dhamma Khamisha and the Tana says five are Mishnah. So two different Tarutsa, and that's how many gates there are in the Har Habais. We are holding Khavzayan Amid Aleph, about twelve lines, fifteen lines to the bottom of the two dots. Now we can evolve additional points of Shia. They oh, that's very interesting. It doesn't say, uh, it's a very interesting point. I like that. Let's, let's speak out what Ravavi just pointed out. The Bryce of the said that there were five gates to the Azarim. Asked the Gemara, were there five? So Abayah says, yeah. There were five that required watchmen. Rava says, no. One sheet that says five. One sheet that says seven. One sheet that says eight. So Ravavi's pointing out, according to Rava, were there wa- more watchmen? Comes out very funny. 
we know that the Levium, there's 21 watchmen of Levium. But according to Rava, it sounds like, because if not, what's he arguing about? Like, 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 yeah, but then it's just funny. So what, what's his whole point? Just to point out that there's other Tanayim. It's interesting. So yeah, yeah, I guess you'd have to answer that he's arguing in the number of gates, but then with regards to the watchmen, he's going to have to hold like a baye that they were close by, but it definitely is an interesting point. Continues the Gemara. Yeah, we all good? Continues the Haley Gemara. Everyone has to focus in. As we pointed when we learned that this is the one like real shtickle Gemara <laughs> in the whole parak and really the whole Masechta. Further, all the way attend. David, all the way attend. Ma mishatend. Got to go, go, go. There you go. You're there. Uh, I think you're there, right? Yeah, there you go. Says the Gemara. Loy, don't worry. I've been using this Gemara. You got to get a, got to be a little violent. Get a little violent with your Gemara, and then it remembers you. That's you know, as much as we don't like being violent with the Talmudim, but Lemaisa, the ones you're violent with, remember you. But don't tell that to anyone. Says the Gemara. Loy, how you yeshein big the kodesh erev tov the heligah kogai. We are holding. Um, Again, 15 lines to the bottom. Yes, let's go. Everyone focus in. This is a real shtickle gemara. Perhaps the only real shtickle gemara. I don't want to sound that nice, but like, you know, question, tarots. So let's focus in. Let's get it clear. Says the gemara, what do we say in the Mishnah? They would not sleep. In the big day Kaidesh. Before we see the Gemara inside, let's just open our minds. If they didn't sleep in the big day Kaidesh, what could they, yes, potentially do? Chill, hang out, get benefit from the big day Kaidesh. We're going to segue, let's just open and remind ourselves, we're going to segue into the Lachs of Kalayim. Because the Mishnah said they fold them up, put it under their head. It's under their head, they're getting benefit of it. So, ah, uh, could you get benefit or not? Is question number one with regard to big day Kaidesh. Question number two is, some of the begadim, the avnate, the belt, most particularly, had shatnes according to some shittites. So are you allowed to sleep, lie on something with shatnes? That's going to be the sidebar discussion. But so let's get there. Yes, I'm listening. Does that not say that overcomes the license then? Because it's not stay to wear it at night. You're not wearing it. You're lying on top of it. It's true. It's still benefit. There's no I say to benefit from it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You, you are correct. So you're asking if there's no I say how you let align it. We're going to see in the Gemara. Very good. Zok the Heli Gemara. Everyone together. Two dots. Lo ha yeshenim big dekodesh. Says the Gemara. The clear implication from the Mishnah of Zayin and Aleph. About 12 lines from the end of the Amid. The two dots. She no delay. They would not sleep in the big day. Kaidesh, Aval, however, Hiluch Malch, and they would, yes, walk around in the big day. Kaidesh. Shemas me no, we have a Gaval de Garaya that what? Big day Kahuna, Nitnule Hana is Behen. You allowed to get benefit from the big day Kahuna. Why? Because the Mishnah only said you can't sleep in them. Clearly, you can get benefit. Amri, again, Amri is always the terrorist in Tom, but Amri, they said, no. You really cannot walk in it. I, Bahadik Tani, the Mishnah said, Why did the Mishnah say you would not sleep in it? Because they wanted to say at the end of the Mishnah, what? They would take it off. They would fold it up. They would place it where? Tachas Roshem, which right now means under their head. So because at the end of the Mishnah wanted to tell you what to do with it, Kutani Reisha, the Reisha said, what? That Nami Lo Hayo Yishenim. But, what's that one second? But, the Gemara is suggesting, really, you can't sleep and you can't chill in it. Ah, it doesn't work. If I were to tell you, you're not allowed to sit on this chair. So you'd be like, ah, okay, I can't sit in it, but can I, you know, take the chair and use it as a weight? Yeah, I told you can't sit on it. So I asked the Gemara for the fact that the Mishnah says you can't sleep in it implies that you can, yes, use it for something else. Responds the Gemara, no. It only spoke about sleep because of the end of the Mishnah. But ask the Gemara, that makes no sense. Well, Gufa Kakasha, you're contradicting yourself. 
What did the end of the Mishnah say? They took it off and they put it under their head. If they put it under their head, I'm pretty sure a pillow is called benefit. Shema Amina, also bring a raya from the end of the Mishnah. In fact, they put it under their head. Now what? Big day couldn't it like it's ben. They could get benefit from them. Answers the Gemara, Ema, Neged, Roshayim. Does not mean under, it means next to their head. Period. End of part A. So did, were they allowed to get benefit from the big day kahuna? What's the answer? No. I, the Mishnah, implies yes because of the end of the Mishnah. I, the end of the Mishnah, says they could sleep on it, which means they got benefit. They didn't sleep on it. I, it says tachas. It means next to their head. Part A, says the Gemara. Okay, I give in. So you can't get benefit. Part B, Amar Baba, Shema Amina, Tfilin Min Hatzad, Sharina. And part B is what? Okay, you can't get benefit from it. But can you sleep next to it? Well, yeah, that's what Tachas means, next to. So what do we see? We have a Raya that you could put something of Kedusha, Tfilin, next to your head. V'loi Chashina, we're not worried, don't make them enough, we'll allow you that you're going to roll over on top of it. So that is, yes, a raya from the Mishnah. So let's again, for, do we have a raya from the Mishnah whether you can get benefit? The answer is no. But we have a raya that you can put in next to your head and you'll have to go to sleep with Tefillin next to your head. Hocha nami mistavra. That really concludes, really, our Mishnah. Now we take a left turn and we go on a segue at Derech Agav. The Gemara wants to prove that it's the Kenegid Roshayim. The Gemara wants to prove that it's next to your head. Why? Let's say it meant under their head. So now, what would it mean? It would mean that you're getting benefit. And then what? We'd have a discussion about getting benefit. Wait, whoa, slow down. Before getting benefit, there's something else. There should be another problem. And from the fact that it doesn't mention the Isser of Kilayim is another reason that we are, must have the Begadim have been not under their head, but rather next to their head. And now we've officially taken a left turn, one a totally, we just went into different Mesechta. We left the base Amigdash, we left Tomid, and now we're discussing. Shanis. Anayadin. Are you allowed to lie down on top of Shanis? Says the Gemara, well, let's figure it out as we turn over to Chavzayin and Mebeis. Ha! Nichalamanda Omar. This discussion, your Raya is very good if you hold what? Avnei shall Koin Gadol. The belt of the Koin Gadol. Loizahu Avnei shall Koin Adyit is not the same belt. If it's not the same belt, then is it Shanis? No. The belt of the Koin Gadol was Shanis. Is the belt of a coin head? It depends. If you hold it to a different belt, then it's not Shanis. If it's not Shanis, then our whole discussion doesn't start. And then we don't have, why is it not Shanis? It's a machlaikis. It's a machlaikis, whether it's the same belt or not. One man's armor holds yes. No, no, that's what it means. It means it's a different belt, meaning, uh, excuse me, let me clarify, thank you. Not that they actually wore the same belt. Same type of belt. Same type of belt. If it's a different type of belt, that means that it wasn't actually Shanis. That is the Machlaikis. If it's not Shatniz, then what? Then we have no Raya. El Lamanda Maravnita shall coin had yet. Zahu Avnita shall coin God all. According to the Mandarma holds it's the same thing. Michael and Maymar. That we should then not be allowed to lie on it because of the Shatniz. Vachi Taman, if you're going to tell me four lines down. Kalayim Bali Olavisho Dasar, which I think if I would have asked anyone before we learned this Gemara, what are you not allowed to do with Shatnis? You would have told me you're not allowed to wear it. Maybe you're not allowed to use it as a blanket, but to sit on it. Aval, five lines down, me make to tay, to put it underneath you. Shopper dummy, there's no problem. Says the Gemara, but you can't say that. Vatanya, we learned in a rice, so Shtain and Taira. On top of you. Aval. You're allowed to put it underneath you. So, mid to you'd all be correct. 
That midorai so you'll add a pot shine is underneath you. What's the problem? Ah, uh, what? Even I saw your feet, Minatera. Well, what about your feet? From its soul. Step on it. Yeah. Midorai so would sound like yes. Aval, however, there's a problem. Not a problem. I did. Avalam Ruchachami Mazur Lazarus Kane. Chazal taught us it is forbidden. Why? Shema. Techrochni Ma'achas al Basari. Maybe one little strand will go on top. Says Mara, one second. Vachi Tema Pillowcase. Demav Sigmidi will put something in between it. Vam Rav Shimon, Am Rav Yishua Ben Levi, Am Rav Yossi Ben Shom, Shem Kila Kadisha. Shem Yushalayim, what do the Yushalmis teach us about Tama? They taught us the story of the princess and the bee. The elderly Yushalmi story time was Afilu Eser, Matoi, Zua Gavzu, Ten Mattresses, Uklayim Tachteyam, Osir Elisha, and Aleim. Why not? It's called Xer, Durabana, and we don't care if it's actually Shayach to have the strand in you, Lamaisa, it is Osir. That's all you're saying. It's it's true. It's a din derabbanan, and you bring out a good point. You know you and, and that the answer really is caused the derabbanan. On the derais level, you might be right. You know, there's things called shiurim and things, right? Usually, we don't asser up. You know, a, a, a one dot of something. It's true. It's true. No, no, you you, you are correct. It's, it's a wild derabbanan. It's almost a wild derabbanan. Like, like, uh, you can't have this off the. Off. Yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. No, you're right. You're pointing out a very good point. It's it, it's it's a wild derabbanan. It's spicy. That's wild. Spice is about the Rashishim. That's a fascinating question. What does that have to do with us? It's a beautiful question. It's something about that, so. Yeah. Has to do with that. I mean, the, the time it gives off taste. Of a, yeah, yeah, again, this is the Rabbana, in a Correct, correct. Very good. Uh, in a Rabbana, Rabbanachi is pointing out the Rabbanans, what's the whole purpose of the Rabbanans? Safeguard. Fences, yeah, in a and that's what's going on. Hundred percent. El Shmami, no one second. Neged Roshay and Shivaraya that must have been next to their head. Raya number one. Viva Yisema. Boy, it's a chain bank climb. Maybe I'll tell you it's because I don't have climb. Ravashi Amar, another teretz. Big day kula were kashenim were stiff. Dama Rav Yehuna Brit Rav Yeshua. Hanam tegam the dinarish. Sharia thick, stiff, begadim, do not have a problem of kalayim. Why not? Because they won't go on top of you. Now, this is very interesting. What's well, very interesting? What's bothering you? Oh, very good. It's a shtickle stira. On one hand, we're saying the Kila Kadisha said 10 layers and it's Asr. On the other hand, if it's made out of a thick, stiff material, it's mutter. So the answer has to be what's the answer? You know, uh, you know, we could do a pull of yeshivish chafs over here. The answer has to be, once the item is something which is shy to have strands, potentially come come on top of you, then it's asr. I don't care if you put a cover, I don't care if you put 10 layers, it's asr. But if the item is a chafsa, it's an item that's hard, they can't have a strand, then it's mutter. That's what you have to say. But in a chanami, it is a very, very valid point. If it's hard, our chairs are soft. They sure hope we have soft chairs. We don't want hard chairs. We have dove. Soft chairs in the new show. Soft chairs in the new show. What do you think this is? When it's not prison, you sit in the hard chairs. Although someone I heard from a Gadol recently, who was it? He said he wants his chairs in the shul. He wants them not so soft. Shouldn't be comfortable. Shouldn't be comfortable. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, rip your pants or stickle splinters. Nostalgic mirror. It's cavaldic. No, because they, they, you know, because of what you said, the Durabana made their zero the most hammer. Even one, sure. Even one, even one, even one. Yeah, 100%. Even one. Then it, if it's hard, then you'd be right. You're right. If it's soft. You said it's interesting. You're right. There's a middle level. Like, what would you say about this, right? Nothing can come out of here, but it is soft. So it's interesting. It sounds like we done up the item in its malleability for big college words from the college graduates amongst us, which means it is bendable, malleable. That's what it sounds like, but uh, I don't know. It's a good cash. Let's go job further. It's 824. We're basically finished, but it's Thursday. So let's go job further. Chavar over Shabbos. We have to chazer. We have to chazer. We have to chazer. Ira, carry back on me, 
One of them became Tommy. Messiah the Rav Yechon Adar Mechilois Loinis Kachu. The tunnels must not have been Kodesh. We'll carry Mishlei Chutz Lishnei Machanai. So picking it from here. Chavra Monday night we are finishing, and I would love to make a him if we could get our act together. If not, we'll just go weiter, and uh, we'll soon enough be uh, done the Mesechta, and we'll make a big party then. Mirza Mirza Hashem.